What's going on YouTube? This is Redland Revs. Quick little video on how I did my oil catch can mod and uh, PCV delete. So uh, my PCV system was leaking around here, um, just uh, around the piping that leads to that hockey puck accumulator valve, um, and it was causing it to um, lose power and also um, there's the smell of the fumes coming to the cabin um, so I've replaced that with an oil catch can and uh, this is how I do it, did it. So there's a couple of uh, plates over here next to the inlet manifold um, that you can take out. There's one with two plastic rivets and you just need a flat head screwdriver to take that out and then there'll be another one, uh, a bracket, a metal bracket which has um, two um, Allen bolts that go into the inlet manifold there. You just unscrew those and take that out. Um, and then you want to undo this switch and remember obviously to put everything back together when you're done um, and take out the dipstick holder. Um, it makes sense to get a new dipstick holder. They only cost about five pounds or so and they can get really brittle and it's most likely going to break apart in your hands if you haven't changed it before. Um, cover up the disc dipstick hole while you're working because you don't want to drop anything down there. That elbow down there, let's see if we can get this in focus, that elbow there is the beginnings of that PCV valve system and actually the PC, well, uh, there's a little T-piece that houses the PCV valve that will be just off this elbow on your original factory system. Um, so what you want to do is there's, uh, yeah, this, just take that plug out um, to give you some space and um, there's a green spring clip around the bottom of the elbow housing um, so just yank that off um, and carefully lift this up now this is most likely gonna deteriorate in your hands as you're working around here because it's gonna get really brittle um, and have corroded after years of hot oil and, and gases passing through it uh, so get yourself a new one and I'll put the part number in the video description. You definitely need a new one of these elbows. Obviously when you're putting the new elbow on you want to put your first pipe on it and clamp it on before you put the elbow in here and put the new clip in or use your own, or use the same clip if you're using that. Um, okay, so let's see, just explain quickly what that piping looks like, the original factory system. Um, so it comes up off the elbow, you've got a T piece off the elbow which will have, which will actually house the PCV valve. That then comes up, joins here, goes into a hockey puck, uh, which then feeds back into the turbo inlet. And on the underside, there'll be some piping, which goes to the brake servo on this side, and also um, a, li a little pipe that goes to the underside of the inlet manifold. That I've just bunged up. So what I've done is th there's, a, there's a little L that comes off the inlet manifold here, and connects up to all of that piping from the elbow and the PCV system. Uh, so when you take it off, this will come off as well. And just cut the L piece and stick a screw or something in it and secure it back on. So we'll be plugging up this nipple on the inlet manifold in the middle of, and underneath of the inlet manifold. Um, my L piece actually, the L part broke. So I ended up having to put the screw in just on, on this straight part coming off and secured it with a jubilee clamp. So that one we bung up um, and it, the piping runs underneath here and then it connects up to the brake servo and you'll have this funny little S pipe um, that connects up there. Um, so you just take all that piping off and you'll already have one of these pipes in your factory system and you can just plug that directly into this nipple coming off the end of the inlet manifold and that's for your brake booster um, but while I was there I, I decided to change it for a Creations Motorsport red uh, silicone one. Um, uh, so yeah just going back to the PCV system um, you can see I've got a pipe coming up there and then a 19 millimeter T um, pipe coming off here so these two join the vent from the top of the oil filter where the elbow comes up um, and this one here um, and then they go into the inlet of the oil catch can and then there's 19 millimeter outlet from the catch can that goes into the servo intake pipe 
over there. Um, when I did this, I left the pipe slightly longer. These kink quite a lot, and that's why I've got lo loads of these Jubilee clamps all the way up here, because everywhere there was a kink, uh, I put a clamp just to hold it round and, and, and open so that it doesn't choke the engine and allows it to flow correctly. Uh, that's just a temporary solution for me as well. This is an eBay catch can I got, which isn't very good. I opened it up, there was nothing in it whatsoever, um, and uh, also it didn't come initially with 19 millimeter inlets. I found some that don't screw on fully correctly. Um, I'm going to end up changing this catch can eventually, and when I do that, I'll cut these hoses slightly shorter um, to the precise length that they need to be so that they have no kinks. So just bear that in mind when you're finishing off. Oh yeah, also in terms of mounting that, I decided to mount it here on the battery cover. The reason I went for that option is because I wanted to leave myself more... Oh yeah, hang on, let me just put this back up. Um, I had this off while I was working. Uh, I wanted to leave more space around here. I was initially thinking of moving this, running the relay into here, um, and placing the catch can here. But actually, um, I want access to the turbo more easily. I want to leave that area there. And also for changing, I mean, for, for you know, taking that off and removing the oil. I think it's just easier for it to be at the front. Um, so the point of this is to basically separate the oil um, that would normally be recirculated back into the intake from the PCV system. Um, and then you can just empty that out from time to time. But like I said, I'm going to be getting a different one because this I actually noticed leaks around the seams and there's nothing in it whatsoever, no baffling or anything. And um, uh, yeah, and it didn't come with the 19mm inlet. At the time I just wanted to get the thing done, so I just went for the quickest thing I could get. And someone had that near me and I, and I picked it up. But it's the cheapest one pretty much that you can get on eBay and I'd suggest getting a slightly better one or if you get something like this to, to modify it, <clears throat> put an inlet and an outlet um, pipe on the inside, put some stuff in there. I think you can put uh, the metal dishwashing, scrubbing things uh, some people put in there to uh, to give it some kind of baffling. Um, but yeah, I feel this car's definitely running a bit better. Um, obviously you don't have to do the N249 delete if you don't want to. You don't have to do the fuel pressure regulator. Um, uh, hose if, 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 you, if you want to leave it as that is. Um, but yeah, that's the PCV system there. Uh, the main thing is just, you know, get a new elbow. Bring it up off the elbow, make sure all your pipes are tight and cut to length, uh, bring it up, T coming off here onto the inlet and then an outlet back into the turbo inlet pipe there. So Redland Revs, that's your oil catch can on a Seat Lone Cooper R 1.8T. Um, hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure you comment, rate, subscribe.